Perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen. Perfect. So this presentation is going to look uh, very similar if you attended last year's session. I think it's been about a year since I gave this presentation. Um, however, due to the pandemic and everything that's been happening, there have been a lot of changes. So we're gonna talk about that as well. So my name is Alyssa Carter and I am the paraprofessional at the Ed Robeson Library. We're located off Friggs Road and Dobson. And we are part of the Maricopa County Library District. So there are about 18 library branches that you have full access to. So if we don't have anything that you're looking for at our particular branch, we can always order that, have that sent over, not a problem. You can borrow up to 50 items at a time and request up to 20 items at a time with your library card. Uh, we do not have overdue fines. So if you return things a day or two late, you're not gonna get charged that 20 cent fine that you used to or a dollar a day for DVDs, um, those fines no longer exist. However, if you never return the items, uh, we do charge you for the replacement and uh, processing fees of those items. So just be cautious of that. You can keep them out a little bit longer, but don't keep them out too long. <laughs> Materials can be renewed up to five times as long as nobody else is waiting for them. And your library card has to be renewed every year. Best ways to reach us is our phone number is the 602-652-3000 number and our website, mcldaz.org. So here's our address here. We're at 9330 East Riggs Road in Sun Lakes off, off of Dobson and Riggs, uh, located just west of the Renaissance. During our normal uh, business operations, which was pre-pandemic, we were open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We have new COVID hours. Uh, we're just adjusting the way that we are allowing people in at the moment. So if you come visit us, we are doing a pop in and pick up, and that is through uh, Monday through Thursday, or sorry, Monday through Saturday. It used to be Monday through Thursday. Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, you can come in and you can view the library. We have um, about a half circle in the middle of the library uh, with all various materials that are available for checkout. We're not fully open yet. The idea behind this is just, you know, pop in, pick up a few items and go ahead and leave. We don't want people staying longer than 15 minutes, which is what the CDC recommends. And you do have to be fully masked when you come in. So nose and mouth do have to be covered if you come visit us. If you're not comfortable visiting us uh, inside, then you're more than welcome to use our curbside service. And that is by appointment only. We use a system called My Libro, which I'll talk about a little bit later when we go through the website. Um, but you don't even have to come in. You just pull up to the flagpole at the Ed Robeson Library and we'll run out your holds or any other items that you were looking for. Let me see here. Perfect, yes. We did start a new program with the hotspots and the Chromebooks, and I will talk about that a little bit more. That just started last week. Perfect. So how to get a library card. Very easy. I just need a driver's license, a federal state ID, uh, a military ID card, passport, something that has your name and your picture. If that does not have your current address, I just need a utility bill that does hold your current address on it. Um, this will just give you all the access to all the resources that I'm going to talk about. That's going to be the best way to get it in person. If you're not comfortable with getting a library card in person, you don't want to come into the library. We do offer virtual appointments with our librarians, and you'll just need the same material, but it's all through um, a WebEx meeting, similar to Zoom, different system. Um, but you'll meet face to face with a librarian, get your library card all set up, and it'll be sent to the Ed Robson Library, and you can pick it up at curbside. So you'll see here is our homepage and I have a big red arrow pointing to the book a librarian uh, module on our website. So you'll just go ahead and click that. And it is from, I believe, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So anytime between there, you can book a, a library, an appointment with a librarian and go ahead and make your library card. Or if you have any questions about our resources, we can walk you through that as well. We are offering programs. They're not the same programs that we used to hold. We used to hold big, massive programs in person. Unfortunately, thank you, COVID, we can't do that anymore. Um, so we are holding virtual programs. So if you're looking for anything that's 
um, culture related, crafting, story times for grandchildren, we hold all those virtually and they're accessible at any time. So you'll see that there are a few categories at the very top of the webpage, new today, story time, youth, teen and adult. We try to do a wide variety of programs. <clears throat> the nice thing about this is that when you were coming to programs, it was all programs that I was organizing or my branch manager was organizing. This way you can see programs that all of Maricopa County Library District librarians are hosting. And so it's a nice wide variety and you get to see a lot more than just what I was able to provide for you at that time. All right, so what are e-resources? So electronic downloads, um, streaming are all available when the library is closed. I know that we were closed for a little while there um, due to the pandemic, so I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this, um, but at mcldaz.org slash e-media, you can find everything that you could ever want to entertain yourself. We have TV shows, movies, e-books, audio books, things like that. Uh, materials can be downloaded to your tablet, smartphone, e-readers, and computers, and we do have a wide variety of tutorials for each resource online, and I'll show you how to use those as well. So uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is Overdrive slash Libby. So Libby is part of Overdrive, if you have downloaded that before. Libby is only capable with Apple and Android products at this time. We're still working on getting it available to Kindle. So if you do use a Kindle device, Kindle Fire, Kindle Paperwhite, you're still gonna be using OverDrive for that, but it's the same system. Uh, it provides access to over 200,000 eBooks, magazines, and audiobooks. The way that OverDrive works is that we're part of a consortium with like City of Mesa, um, City of Tempe. So we all put money towards it and you're able to use all, the, all of those resources. Um, you can check out up to 10 digital items at a time and have eight items on hold as well. And there are wait lists because we only have a certain amount of copies per title um, that we are allotted to to check out. So you are still going to see those wait lists similar to physical items. Hoopla Digital is a really nice one if you don't like wait lists. I'm personally somebody who hates waiting for things. So um, Hoopla Digital, everything's readily available. You just get 15 checkouts per month rather than 10 checkouts at a time, if that makes sense. Um, so checkouts are going to be three weeks for eBooks and e-audiobooks and movies and TV shows are 72 hours. Um, you do have to make a free account with that, but then I'll ask for your library card information and then give you access to everything that Maricopa County offers through that service. So I'm gonna take a breath right here. Make sure I'm not going too fast. Does anybody have any questions in the chat for me? I'm not seeing anything at the moment. All right, feel free to just keep dropping those questions in the chat. I'll answer them periodically. Canopy is a good one. It's similar to Hoopla and you can check out 10 items per month. There's a lot of good movies. Uh, it has great courses, documentaries, there's a lot of old time films on there, which I really enjoy. Um, similar to Hoopla, you do have to create a free account and then just go ahead and enter in your library card information for that one. All right, I got a question about Hoopla. Do we go to the library website or is this an app? There is an app available for it. How I recommend you get started is to go ahead and sign up through the library website. I can show you that as well. And then use those credentials to sign into the app so you have access to it digitally. And same thing with Canopy, I'd recommend that for Canopy as well. They're very similar, they just offer different services. Flipster is really good for magazines. Um, magazines come out all the time on a weekly basis. And so it can be kind of a pain to come to the library and check them all out. This way you're not messing with uh, physical magazines. You just get them all digitally on your tablet. So weekly magazines are checked out for two days, monthly or seasonal magazines are checked out for seven days. Uh, they do expire. However, you don't have a limit on how many you can download at a time. 
And there's no limit on how many times you can download something. So if you're very interested in something, you can just keep re-downloading that. Um, they have tons of back issues as well. I think it goes up to a year in back issues. So it's a really good service if you're looking for anything particular. They have a lot of good things like uh, USA Today, or no, sorry, <laughs> Us Weekly, People, things like that. Freegal is an awesome resource if you love music. So this allows our customers to download and keep five songs per week. Um, the best way that I recommend doing this is downloading the Freegal app and using your library card to download those items. You can also stream music 24 seven and it doesn't cost you anything. So it's a good alternative to uh, those that use Spotify or Pandora. You don't wanna keep up those costs. This is a nice free way to do that. Consumer Reports is a very popular resource that we offer here at the library. We do have the physical Consumer Reports sent to us. However, personally, I know that it can be a pain in the booty to try to find the particular item that you're looking for. So the Consumer Reports website, uh, you can search for washing machines, cars, things like that, and everything will just pop right up for you. The only thing that it asks for you when you access that through the Maricopa County website is um, your zip code. And that's just to make sure that you live within the Maricopa County um, range so that way you can have access to it. A new one that just got added uh, when the pandemic hit was ancestry.com. So we did have access to ancestry in the library. So you had to be connected to the library Wi-Fi or be using one of our computers in order to access it. However, because of the pandemic and we didn't have access to our computers, we still don't have access to our computers. Um, we wanted to make it accessible to everybody. So we have now started offering that for you to use at home. And so you'll go to our website, find Ancestry, click on it, and you'll have full access like you did here at the library. And I'll go into a little bit more depth with that as well, as far as how to access that from home. So online learning, we have a lot of free courses that you can take online at your own leisure. So we have classes from learning new languages to gaining new knowledges um, or knowledge on technology, how to run a successful business. So it's a really good resource and I'll talk a little bit more about each one. I have Gale courses which are available. So you'll need to register for a class. New sessions start about every six weeks. Um, it's instructor led. It's an online course that's popular in educational topics. So they talk about business to personal development. They're all about six weeks long and they have a new start date every month. So if you miss one start date, you can go ahead and just wait for the next one next month. Um, these courses, I've taken a few of them. They do contain quizzes, exams, and various assignments. So just like a regular college course, it does require you to set aside some time for that, a couple hours a week to finish those assignments and things. Learning Express Library is fantastic for those of us that would like to take things at our own pace. So it has a lot of educational, professional, and personal life information and courses. Um, there, there's no structure instructor, but you can go ahead and message a Learning Express employee and they'll just go ahead and help you if you're having any trouble with those courses. It's self-paced. It still contains the eBooks, tutorials, and tests. So again, it does require you to set up a bit of time aside for learning. Rocket Languages is a really good one if you're looking for um, expanding your language palette, if you will. <laughs> so um, it talks about culture, structure, writing, and listening skills for new languages. There's about, I believe it was 16 different languages that are available through Rocket Language. So um, wide range, it's very well put together. There's even an app that you can go through and listen to and talk to in order to make sure you're pronunciating correctly. So it's a very nice um, app there that we offer. So anybody have any questions for me before I move on to the website? Okay, I'm not seeing any, so you're gonna go here. Perfect, so this is the mcldaz.org. So this is our website homepage here. 
Um, I know that we got a question about podcasting, so I'm just going to do my little plug here. On the left-hand side, you'll see Shelf Logic, the MCLD podcast. If you're looking to listen to different librarians talk about new books that are coming out, our favorite books, things like that, this is a good thing to um, check out. I do this um, in part with my coworker, Corbin, uh, and we talk about tons of different books. He will always go on about the fabulous J.D. Robb. And um, it's very fun to listen to, and it's from librarians all over the county. So it's not just me that you're listening to. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yes, they are all available through the website. So um, the resources that I talked about, they're all going to be in this top bar here. So eMedia will have everything that I talked about as far as Hoopla, Canopy, Overdrive, and a little bit more as well. Um, as far as tutorials that I was talking about, if you just click eMedia Downloads and Streaming, it'll give you a full list of everything that we offer, and you can click on it, and it'll take you to the website. So this is Freegal here. And then if you click on the question marks, you'll see that there is video tutorials, instructions, and how to contact support. So if there's ever a problem and let's say that, you know, you didn't download anything, but all five of your downloads are taken for that week, you can contact support and somebody from Freegal actually will be in contact with you and make sure that they can get you the help that you need. Um, consumer reports. I'm logged on to um, a county server right now, so it's not gonna ask me for my zip code, but you'll see consumer reports here as soon as it's done loading. And it's very similar to those um, guidebooks and buyer's guides that you would usually get. So I'm just gonna type in um, RAV4 and then it'll come up with everything about a RAV4 that I'm looking for, the 2021, 2020, 2019. I feel like personally, the website does offer a little bit more information in comparison to the buyer's guide, just because um, the information is gonna be more up to date, I feel. So you'll see here, um, it'll give you everything that you would get in the pamphlet. Underneath research um, is going to be all of our databases. So I'm just gonna click the A to Z list. And you'll see that we have tons and tons and tons of resources for you to use, um, including Reference USA, which is good for businesses, Novelist Plus, if you're looking for um, new book recommendations, Morningstar, and I believe Value Line, yes, um, are going to be the stock market resources that you can use the Learning Express Library, which I talked about previously. And then at the very top, you'll see Ancestry Library, temporarily available outside of our libraries during the closures. So when I click on it, it'll give you access to what you would have normally in the library. So if you're somebody that's very into genealogy, this is a great resource for you to take advantage of, especially in the comfort of your own home. Oh, and we did start offering um, Acorn TV as well. Um, for those of you that are into the British TV and film, it is through RB Digital. So again, you'll just have to create an account. You can register right here. Or if you do have an account with RB Digital, go ahead and sign in. Um, but you can check this out. The checkouts are for seven days, but similarly to other resources, you can just keep checking out Acorn until you run through all the TV shows. It doesn't cost you anything, it's absolutely free, um, and we don't put limits on it. So that's something new that we just added um, in the past year. And you can find RB Digital underneath eMedia and then down to RB Digital. All right. So underneath the Learn tab is going to be some of the things I talked about, Gale Courses, Learning Express Library, Rocket Languages. And then if you need any help getting access to those, using online resources is going to be a good um, page for you to visit. 
And when you go there, you'll see that there are tons of online tutorials and handbooks for each of our resources. And then um, the last thing I'm gonna hit on is something called Get Connected. So this is a new resource that we just launched last week. So we are actually offering to check out Chromebooks and hotspots to those who don't have access to it. Um, so Chromebooks are a um, smaller version of a laptop, if you will. It's really good for internet browsing and things like that. Um, so the checkout is three weeks for those. If no one else is waiting for them, you can keep renewing it up to five times, just like a regular um, book. And if you need help, we can try to our best to help you with it, um, getting started and whatnot. And then we also offer hotspots. Um, hotspots are a way for you to get internet without using your internet router. So you could take the hotspot potentially out to a park with the Chromebook and get connected there. Um, we factory reset everything when it gets returned. So you don't have to worry about invasion of privacy or anything of that sort. We're not gonna look at anything. We are literally just going to reset it in front of you and make sure everything gets wiped. Um, it's a really good service. The Chromebooks are brand new, so now would be a great time to check them out. You just have to come into the library and sign an agreement with us, and then you are free to use the Chromebook as much as you want. Um, however, if anything breaks as far as the Chromebook and uh, Hotspot, we do have to charge you for the replacement of it, just like a book. So just be aware that that is a potential cost, and we ask that you take care of our items just like you would a library book. But um, that's a new service that came out. We have uh, Library 101 Chromebooks to go as a YouTube video that you can watch to learn a little bit more about it. Um, but if you're interested in our resources and you don't have a laptop, it's a really good way to get started with that. Um, does RB Digital still have magazines? Yes. The RB Digital is in the middle of converting all of their magazines into Overdrive at the moment. So eventually it is going to be carried over with um, OverDrive. All the magazines are going to switch to there instead of RB Digital. With Acorn TV, is there an app for the TVs? Yes, it's the RB Digital app because you'll watch everything through there. All right, I don't see any other questions at the moment. So I am going to stop sharing my screen.